Hi lads and welcome to another old firm match review and yes obviously this one finished 4-0 four 4-0 nil. Four nil. we've not had a 4 goal difference in an old firm game since what one of the 5 ones at the, the returning season but yeah it was proper I think that was worse than the other 5-1 defeats we really scored in, the, in them in them games but yeah, straight from the back, like four one four one with Halliday playing in the four and Dorns playing the one. What what's that all about? Why is Dorns much better going forward? Halliday has barely kicked a ball. And Hallid I forgot Halliday and Dorns were playing in the first twenty minutes. They were that quiet. I mean Dorns was Premier League quality. So was Jamie Murphy. They're in the Scottish Premier League. They should be out, they should be outstanding every game, like no excuses. They're just why are they not performing? Jamie Murphy was playing with Brighton, who were in, who are in the Premier League. Uh, why are, why isn't he doing that? Playing well with Rangers and yeah, it was. I mean, so Celtic just dominated from the first minute to the last minute. I mean, last last old firm I was defending Rangers when I mean they lost three two. And Celtic supporters were saying that there was a huge golfing class, which last game there wasn't. You can't you can't say there was last game because there clearly wasn't. But this game has just proved that there is a huge golfing class. And how Rangers can go from that performance like last month to today's is it's beyond me. How how poor they played today, their pass like I mean although tactics were bad how they're passing, their touch, they couldn't do anything, they're, they're so poor, it's like, I was watching amateur football just, just about, but yeah, the first goal came round, Rogic had the ball, turned to McCrory, McCrory got sent the wrong way, and there was like four players around Rogic, Declan Judge should have came in for the block, he just sat and watched them, and yeah, so, that was the first goal, poor defending, um, Rogic should not have had that much amount of space and yes Celtic it was only a matter of time before they went 1-0 up second goal Kearney Kearney Tierney Kieran Tierney got by Daniel Candace and it was so easily like Candace just started walking after that uh, so he crossed it in only one person in the box I think there was one one Celtic attacker Dembele and four Rangers defenders comes to Martin with one of the, it wasn't even an attempt to clear it, it, it just stuck a foot out to it, landed to, to McGregor, it was a good finish by McGregor to be fair to him, and yeah so that was 2-0 and we just, and then Martin made a change, why he waited, I mean 30, 37, 38 minutes into the game before making the change, um, I don't know, but surely he realised before he had to change something, Halliday came off and he was raging, he was shouting, I don't know who he was shouting, apparently he was shouting at the fans, which I, I doubt. Um, he was obviously mad at the bench, not at the bench, the the hierarchy of the club. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know who he was shouting at, but yeah, then half time came along, Rangers didn't have a shot in the first half, they had that one where Rangers had a decent, not a decent attack, Morelos went, atta went on the attack. Cut inside, should have cut it back to the edge of the box, but Morelos being Morelos, thinking that he can score from all angles, had a shot, got blocked, and yeah, he didn't even get counted as an attempt on goal. So, yeah, that was it. 2-0 half time. I did not have any confidence in any comeback. Um, and then straight into the second half, five minutes in, eight minutes in, something like that, and just a punt over the top. McCrory, uh, Ross, Ross just uh, tried to pass it back to Dem to Wes, and Dembele gets in there. Ross just pulls him down, and uh, yeah, I feel he got red carded. I feel sorry for Ross because I mean, just, just young. That's his second old form, and I mean, the physicality between when his last game against Griffiths, Ross was more had the physical, you know, uh, advantage to him. But Dembele in this, I hate to say it, but he did 
kind of bully Ross and yeah, it showed that in the red cards. Obviously, then Dembele took it, chipped it. Yep, and I was at three now, and yeah, three now. There was no confidence. I had no confidence in them, in them coming back from two now. So three now was just nothing. But it, then they brought and Alves on for Candias. Candias then came off raging as well. He didn't show us that much frustration as that Hal did, but he went straight to the straight to the change rooms. But it's, I mean, players getting taken off and just going on a rampage. I know it's obviously not. It's quick. It is kind of embarrassing. Get well, it is embarrassing getting smashed by your rivals. Um, I mean, you can't just get. I mean, you're going to be frustrated if you come off, but you can't just you need to be professional. You know, they're they are professionals. Or you, you think that not after today's performance anyway. And yeah, so Alves came on, and we actually had three chances in succession. Uh, cross came in, Morelos headed it. Gordon, fair play, made a great save. Corner again, Alves with a header, more central, but it was still a decent save from uh, Gordon. And then what? Two minutes after something like that, ball got played forward. That big Ayer sliced it, hit the bar, came to Morelos, and obviously, being Morelos, he thought of the last old firm, the open net he missed and thought better take a touch uh, even though it's set up perfectly on the bounce on the half volley if he just had to he was getting height on it with a half volley um, as long as he could just direct it into an open net you know you'd think that wouldn't be too difficult but yeah he took a touch and managed to hit it straight at Gordon who was sitting down and yeah that just I mean I'd, usually I do like Morelos but I mean you can't you can't miss chances like that. Uh, so three now and then they brought Holt on. I want I wanted to see Cummins. I generally want to see Cummins. Why are they not playing Cummins? He's just gonna leave at the end of the season if we're not playing him, and it's so pointless. All the hype having him over in the summer. He was obviously he's obviously real keen to get in playing games. He scored a hat trick last month against Dunfermline. Didn't start in the old form. You're like what? But why is it? Why is he not getting a chance? Holt came on uh, for Dorans. Dorans was shocking. I I wouldn't give anyone pass marks. <laughs> that, uh, Bruno Alves actually done decent when he came on. To be fair to him, uh, but no, it was really poor. And then obviously Holt giving away the ball midfield, then giving away the penalty. Yeah, for now it was, and Cham put the penalty away. And yeah, that was pretty much it at the end of the game. In fact, Morelos tried to do like a uh, dummy, tried to get by his man in the last minute. You heard Greg Doherty absolutely roaring at him. Mor Morelos then ran over to him to obviously say something to him. Then at the end of the game, the, uh, they obviously started arguing with each other because two, two other Rangers players had to keep them away from each other. So uh, that is it's quite embarrassing in that sense, players fighting each other. Uh, but I mean, the 4 0 scoreline is embarrassing as it is so yeah um, second place are we even going for second place as that performance will not get us anywhere that concludes the match review um, comment what you thought of it below I don't think that there will be any opinions really different as it was crap it was crap it was crap you know there's not much else to say about it, so if you want to leave what you thought in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.